Luis. Good. All right, so this is Apollo here. This is the first time he's been to the Fit Bully camp. So, <laughs> you saw the four-month-old bullies do this, so now we're gonna see what the four-month-old German Shepherd would do. You want it? Go get it. Where is it? Yeah. So you, hit, you see here, he's trying to figure it out. He doesn't know exactly what to do. So we're going to show him again. You want to go. And now you just wait. Good boy. Get it. You can do it. First time I've ever seeing a camera as well, folks. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is build his confidence up a little bit. I'm gonna give him a reward while he's on the tires. Hey boy, you got it? You got it? There you go. Come on. Yeah. You gotta go. You want it? You gotta get it now. Come on. There you go. So again, guys, what you're seeing, I'm gonna make sure you can keep him in view. What you're seeing again is a dog who, I don't know where, it, whose dog, is it somebody, you're training dog? This yeah. ain't your dog. Okay? No, it's not my person. Never mind then. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm playing. If that dog was with, like, staying headed from day one, it already been this stuff. But that frustration, yeah. you don't want to get discouraged when you hear that type, that that type of frustration. You want to keep motivating the dog. You can do it. Patience is the name of, not the game, but it's just how you should live your life in general. And these dogs, man, they don't know everything. Uh, and they need our guidance. Just like a kid. Literally just like a kid. You, you don't know what to do, but it's, it's crazy watching the bullies, right? Last episode. Yeah. Yeah. Look, 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 look. And Stan's going to encourage him. Good boy. Get it. You see that there? Just a little bit at a time. You, you don't want to make it. him uncomfortable. <laughs> Tires got him a little tight. Get him, boy. Get it. You can do it. <laughs> yeah. Alright, figure it out how you get out now. There you go, you didn't get the tug though. Where the tug at? Where the tug? Oh yeah. <laughs> so, so what would you call that type of frustration, like that noise that he's making? I think it's a little bit of uncertainty. He wants it, but he's not sure how to get it. Um, a little insecurity because he doesn't know how to win the game. Uh, this spe specific task that we're asking him to do. So there's a couple of things that you can do. Take the one off. Yeah. Where's it at? And you teach him that going in there and grabbing the toy is how he went. Yeah, no boy. You did it. You did it. Come here. Oh, don't piss on it. Oh man, yeah, no. Don't pee on it. We gotta use it again. <laughs> we gotta use it again. Good boys. Where's it? Come here. Go get it. Good boy. <laughs> There you go. Now you see he's figuring it out. Slowing down a little bit. Go get it. Bring. It's a lot of talking people. I tell you, man. I told somebody today, say, man, how do I get my daughter to listen? I said, you got a girlfriend? He said, no. I said, you never come back to your crib and she want to talk you something to death? I said, you like this. Man, I don't feel like talking, but you got to hear what she got to say. Good boy. <laughs> I said, well, you got a dog. You can come back. You got to talk to that dog every day, man. Talk to it like it's your old lady. Well, you don't want to deal with that this time. Like, I done had a long day, but she ain't got no choice because she started talking. You're going to start fighting if you don't listen. <laughs> Not that one. Where's it at? Check here. Good boy. Go get it. Oh, you can do it. Come on. Yes. Good boy. Come on. Good boy. Yes, sir. Good job, Paolo. Good boy. Get it, get it. Here, you gotta get it. Bring it out. Bring it out. Good boy. Come on. Yes. Good boy. Yeah, you did it. Yeah, you did it. And then we're gonna tug, big reward for him for overcoming that fear. So he starts learning that that's the proper behavior to get him what he wants. Yeah, no boy, yes. Good boy. Yeah. Ow. Will you put that big one up there? Yeah. So now we're gonna try the original task. Good boy, 
You did it! You did it! You did it! You go get it! Oh, go get it! Get it! Get it! Good boy! Good boy! Good boy! Good boy! Good boy! Good boy! Yeah. Come on. <laughs> Good boy. You can do it. Get. The wheels are turning, people. And one thing you can do in this instance is take him away and put him up so he thinks about not getting that reward that he wanted. It's a good boy. You gotta get in there if you want it. Come on. You gotta get it. Go get it. Go get it. Yeah. Good boy. Up. Come on. Go get it. Yes, sir. You can do it. So easy. guys, another thing that I would tell you just to be mindful of sometimes, especially because as I said before, we build the American Bully a little bit slower, is we'll turn around and I'll see a few things and then go back and work backwards. Work backwards means I'll build a little bit more confidence in general and then come back and try more tasks. And that could be something as small as taking them to, I like Arbor here, here in uh, Dallas, Texas, getting them on some rocks, walking them across things, ponds, rivers, lakes, just small stuff. And then when you come back, you'll be like, oh, these are just tires. These stay still. I can do this. But how long have you had this dog? Uh, just a couple days this time. <laughs> just a couple, just a couple days. He's already progressing. You watched the one through a few steps, literally taking him back, building him up, taking back, building him up. It's a process. <laughs> how do I get my dog to do such and such? It's a process. If you hear that noise, don't get frustrated. <laughs> the dog is frustrated. I know yes. some of y'all. Yes. You're like, Why this dog whining? Says he acting like a. You like chill out, man. Chill out. It's a baby. A baby whines for the first two or three years of his life, and some of y'all still crying. So, as always, for now, as always for now, take care of your dogs and stay tuned, all right? So right now, Stan's got a four, uh, how old? Month? Four month old, and this is just a German Shepherd? Just regular German. <laughs> just regular German. <laughs> it's a regular German Shepherd. No trouble. No trouble. What you're going to watch in this episode is some things that Stan has talked to me about and things that we do here. You want to tease the dog up at times. Teasing the dog up is one of the ways in which you inspire the dog to try a little bit harder. If you say, hey, I'm not getting the result I want or need or I'm seeing, well, what motivates the dog? Well, we got to work backwards and then build up slowly. And then if you see enough stuff, we say, we're going to come back to this later. Another thing you're going to see, if you watch the other episode, bullies. <laughs> who I leave back here, we play back here, we ch I challenge them regularly. I'm thinking about all the other areas. Boy, you ain't about to get yeah, my chicken. You chick about to get my chicken, boy. <laughs> bullies that I've I bred to be better dogs. And they're bullies who will eventually become American Terriers. But Stan here knows the importance of, again, step by step, watching, analyzing the dog, and how to build the dog up. Is this a dog that somebody sent you to do protection work eventually? Yes, so we're in a, a year-long process of raising him up. We've worked with him since he was 12 weeks old <clears throat> and going out for lessons and teaching her how to handle as well. And how long does it take to get a dog to do protection work? So you gotta wait. Cause we're at the four month mark. Yeah, cool. so you gotta wait for puberty for the main thing before things get real serious. But right now he bites. And that's six to nine out. months for those. Yes. He'll bite, he'll out, he'll do things, but he doesn't have that like, mm, just yet because he hasn't fully developed. So it takes about a year to two year process to really, really get that dog that you can rely on and count on in those stressful situations. There you go. And one of the things you'll hear in some of this is the dog's stress, his frustration, him being a baby and wanting to do more but not knowing what to do. Looking for guidance, but you can't hold his hand through everything. You can only lead to the best of your ability. And more importantly, you got to understand dog behavior to a degree so you can actually help the dog and not hurt the dog. Some people get overzealous and then start doing too much and if the dog it's like, oh, well, you're gonna help me out. You can't help him every time. You gotta lead, you gotta dial these back. He took a tire off, put a tire back up. We've worked through a process starting at just one tire. So he says, oh, this isn't that bad. Anything else I'm missing? Sounds about right. Hit the nail on the head, as it says. <laughs> well, you wanna like, subscribe, you wanna, sh you wanna share this for those people who are trying to slowly build confidence in the dog. Look, everything we do is based around confidence. The more your dog sees, the more your dog does, the better your dog becomes, <sighs> the more you can get out of your dog. And that's the thing. I keep getting the messages. I'm sure he gets a lot of messages. Hey, how do I get this, this, and that? I want a one-year-old, a two-year-old. Is it too late to start at three years old? 
what did you start with at, at eight weeks? <laughs> See these dogs determined they'll they'll skim <laughs> their whole head trying to get in here. <clears throat> they some hooligans. <laughs> no, I'm playing, but no, no, they are a little bit. So at anywho, for now, stay tuned, take care of your dog. Hopefully you learned something.